Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot and this is your daily tarot reading for Thursday 2nd of March. Now I'm so in love with my new love pack, love pack, by Chuck Spezzano. But I'm going to do some of these again. I did some of these yesterday, I got lots of comments about them. <coughs> And I think they do give a really good reading. If you can hear screeching, that's my son on his Xbox. I'm actually going to give up saying that soon. My son is always screeching on his Xbox. So thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. If you know anyone you think would like my videos, do share them because I like to get out there as much as I can. And I'm just trying to build the channel up. Ooh, that one. And thanks to those of you that have booked private readings. If you're waiting for a private reading, it is on its way. <laughs> and they're still $20 for half an hour, which is nine cards on any subject you like, really, any questions that you've got. Ooh, oh, we've got to have that one. That just flew out. So I'm kind of paying attention at the moment that we are on our way up to a new moon, a, sorry, a full moon in Virgo. Ooh, we don't do reversals with these. So it's a full moon in Virgo. I think it's on the 12th of March, might be the 11th, depending on where you live. So that is coming and apparently that is a full moon that gives us an opportunity for healing. And a lot of us, because I've had comments from you, have been shedding people, jobs, things we don't need, that kind of thing. And so we're looking really for some healing. As I'm looking out of my window at the moment, I'm looking at the most gorgeous crescent new moon. So beautiful. And there are new beginnings coming for all of us. But we have had a bit of a rocky road, lots of us, especially in love. Now, this is looking nice. I haven't had a nice reading for a long time. Falling in love. Gorgeous. Happiness. Never know what the camera can see of these cards, so I'm really hoping you can see that because it's such a gorgeous card. Control issues. We can never just have it good. <laughs> we'll take falling in love, we'll take happiness, but in the middle of it, we got to have control issues. It's fair enough. Now, I'm going to take my Titchy Tarot, it's actually not called Titchy Tarot, it's like a mini tarot pack by wordpress.com, smashing little cards these are, brilliant for carrying around with you. <coughs> if you're like me you've got friends that are always asking you to do a reading when you're out and about. You don't really want to be carrying like bulky tarot pack in your handbag. It can freak people out as well. You can whip out this little beauty, do a little reading. Everyone's a winner. Okay, so I'm going to choose two of these just to give us some idea of what we are dealing with. Hmm. Okay, that's swordy. <laughs> Seven of Swords is back again. We should have just left it, shouldn't we, at the first three cards. And the Four of Swords. don't know how well you can see these cards. Now the Seven of Swords is my Thief card and we've had that card day before yesterday. And for some of you this was somebody who was stealing from you in terms of stealing your energy, stealing your man, stealing your woman, stealing your heart, but 
also that you were not prepared to really put up with this anymore it was in the reverse now I'm wondering if for some of you you've had you know your moment over the eclipse with somebody or something and then you've maybe had a change of heart you know there could have been a renewal you could have fallen back in love you could have got back together you could have had some kind of meeting of minds with someone where you had been you know like yesterday the pieces weren't fitting together and you're feeling happy again but there is still this control issue you see this guy if you can see that has got a noose around this woman's neck he's sort of leading her along like a dog for some of you just be open, just be aware of the red flags that are still there with somebody. This Seven of Swords energy may not have been cleared. And some of you are going to be feeling pretty tired and worn out about it. But at the same time have very mixed feelings. This is totally mixed feelings of feeling happy, feeling in love again, but also afraid afraid to let go because of what's happened in the past so it could be you that is trying to control the other person because whatever issues there were in the past haven't really had time to clear yet and for those of you that are meeting someone new again there could be control issues because of what's happened to you in the past of how somebody has taken from you in the past. Now I'm just going to draw one of my lovely, lovely, lovely Whisper of Love cards. These are Angela Hartfield. Oh yes, we'll take that Angela. Oh, another one's come out. So this one we've got is Romance. See if you can see that one lovely which says lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection Ooh, listen with your heart see if you can see that one you are listening to what is being said to you but you need to listen with a loving heart so for some of you See if I can get these where you can see them. For some of you, there is room for compromise. There has been this event, whatever this event is. It could be you as the perpetrator, it could be them. But there has been a time of rest, or there needs to be a time of rest, and then there can be falling in love again, there can be happiness again, there can be romance, but you need to listen with your heart, which is different from listening, you know, just with your rational brain and with your ears. If you're listening just like you're listening to anyone, then the judgment can come in. And also you can judge them, you can judge yourself. If you really want to have an open and honest discussion with somebody where things have been bad and they have erupted, over the recent past. In order to give them a fair hearing, you really, really have to listen to them. It may be that you don't have to agree to what they say or what they're asking or their explanation. But if you can listen without judgment, you may hear more of the truth or they may be more willing to be more honest with you. It's a difficult thing to listen with your heart because in order to listen with your heart you have to let go of control. You can't control the conversation, you can't control the outcome. But actually those can be the heart to heart conversations that move us on the most. I'm just going to draw one healing with the angels card, you know that's so funny. That card flipped over and I thought, it's only flipped over, I'm going to put that back in the pack. And it's come back out again. <laughs> so we'll take it. Intention. 
we're still putting out our intentions. We've got the full moon coming in about 10 days time. Put out your intentions for love. Put out your intentions for a new start, whether that's with the same person or whether it's with someone new or you're completely single and you just want to meet someone. Be wary of the red flags, but also listen with your heart. You can be open and you can also be observing what you can and cannot tolerate from somebody. But first of all, you really do have to listen to them. Then set your intention and let the bad things just fall away and the good things come to you easily. So I hope that's resonated with some of you and do leave me some comments and do like, share and subscribe and if you want to book a private reading the information is below and look out soon I'll be doing your March readings over the next, by the weekend those will all be out for each astrological sign individually so have a look for those too. Speak to you soon, bye.